flyers come into town, is it always in the back of your mind when a division opponent is, is on the schedule? Oh yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, anytime your division opponents come into town, it's they're all, they all talk about it all the time. The four-point game, so got to be ready to play them. And we haven't played Philly this year, so we're looking forward to that. With McKeg out, and we just heard about Hartford having to postpone their game. Does that limit you guys as far as if you want to call somebody up? Uh, obviously, yeah. I mean, I I just heard about the Hartford thing a little bit, just a bit ago. So uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, but I mean, hopefully our regular lineup's going tomorrow, and you know we'll see what happens. But. Mm -hmm. If something obviously, you know, we needed something down there, it definitely hurt you for sure. The, the, the third line, the kid line, whatever we want to call it, what have your impressions been of them so far and why do you think they're working well together? I think they're skating, they're creating chances every game. Uh, ever since Phil come back, we put them together and they played very well. So I don't know why or what, but I'm, I'm happy with the way they're playing. So the, the coach, a, coach a adds good speed with them and, you know, they're getting chances every game. Phil and Gauthier are probably two of the fastest guys you have on the team, right? Well, Gauthier definitely is. I mean, uh, obviously there's some good speed there, and Phil can skate too. So I think there's a lot of quick guys, but you, you definitely see it in Gauthier's game. When he comes down the wing, he uses his speed a lot. With him, the fact that we see him go drive the net all the time and sort of look to shoot, mm -hmm. were you encouraged to see in the Boston game that, that he made a couple passes in those situations? Well, he's seen the opportunity, and, and, and like we, we talked about, he's getting more confident. So sometimes you just bury the head and you go hard to the net. But he made a great play, play to Lafayette on that goal, obviously, and the, you know that stands out to you. But uh, no, Goats, is, he's a talented hockey player and a good kid, and now he's, uh, he's confident in this game and he's making those plays. For Lafreniere, his role on that line, how, how do you see that? Play his game. Play his game. Shoot the puck when he gets an opportunity. I like what he's done. He's forechecked really well. He's working hard. Just play an overall game. And do, do you like, uh, in the Islanders game in particular, I think we saw him throw some pretty big hits. Obviously, he gets in the fight. Do you feel like that part of his game has evolved with physicality? Well, I, I mean, he's a talented kid. It's a fine line. Just go play the game and whatever arises, you know. He, like he said, he showed up in that game. He had some good body checks, and you know, I don't want him standing up for teammates all the time like that. But you know what? It's the right time and the right place to it. So that's what our team's all about, and we talk about that with all their players, not just him. It seemed like the guys though got a real kick out or really appreciated. Well, for sure, that. that's that's being a team. That's being a team, and uh, you know, he was he was the next shift on the ice, and you know, he went after him. So, like I said, I, I, we don't encourage that, but like I said, when you stand up for your teammates, it's it's, it's all about being a group in your team, and uh, the player definitely were happy to see him. What do you do when you have a number of days? You know, there was a monkey wrench thrown in the equation, now you had a couple of days to kind of not play in practice. How, how do you utilize that? Well, it rests your team, gets your body back to normal, and you know, I mean, we had a busy, busy schedule. Now we're, I mean, starting tomorrow, we're getting busy, real busy again, so. But it was good. I mean, it was a good break. We had some good practice days, worked hard, and uh, like I said, try and get ready for the game. So, because when the games uh, are starting to come, they come at you pretty quick. If you had to pick the one area that you wanted to focus on the most of these two days? Probably. We did a little bit of, there was no, not really one. I mean, the, you know, we, we always talk about the D zone, but we worked on our power play a little bit yesterday and spent some time on that. And, uh, you know, every day you touch on, you know, neutral zone four check or some weed groups and stuff like that. So I just think we, we, you know, we had three days there to, to touch on some stuff and it was good. Is it nice to be home for a while? It feels like you've had so many road games to have a stretch of home games. Yeah, no, it's definitely good. Like I said, I think you just get refreshed and uh, you, you, you feel a lot better. I mean, when you're traveling back and forth, and we're going to Canada a couple times there, so that w that made it tough on you. But you know what? Uh, we've uh, the last week and a half, two weeks, we've been home pretty much, and and that's good for you. Is the uh, problem with Hartford with the Hartford team or the opponent? I have no idea. I just found out walking down there, so okay. I have no ideas. You're looking at the standings yet, coach, or are you concentrate? Are you looking at the standings? Yet, I look at them every day, but I don't pay no attention to them because <laughs> they change so quick. But no, we, we've we've played good hockey, and like I said, I'd be lying if I said I don't look at the standings. They're they're right in every team's dressing room, so you see, you see them, you look at them, but you can't pay attention to them. You just got to play the next game one at a time. When you look though, does that highlight how tough the division is? Because you still got a couple teams yeah. ahead of you, considering how Definitely. well you played. No, exactly. I mean, that's what it is. You, you know, it. you can't take a week off, or you can't take a game off. You got to show up every night and play and try and get points. And that's what we said from day one. We don't worry about who we're playing or when we're playing, or if it's a road game or a home game. It's trying to get two points every night. Have you noticed? That, I mean, in your division, the physicality, how everyone seems to be more physical. Each team seems to be more physical. 
No, I don't notice that. I mean, it doesn't matter who you're playing. At any given night when somebody throws a big check, uh, you know, you go into Boston the other day, there's some, you know, it's a physical game, it's a bumping game, but it's, I, I just think it's the league right now. I mean, uh, like I said, everybody's excited to play in front of fans again. There's 20 games we've played and there's been some physical games and there's some games where it's just, you know, back and forth, high end skill. So any given night, you don't know what you're going to get.